All right, guys, it's never an easy job. We're over here in Melville, New York. I'm a little bit under the gun and a rush because it's cold outside. People need heat, need hot water. And I got everybody calling me at the same time, but it's the nature of the business. It's that time of the year. But right now, I want to show you guys we have a manifold for a two-zone system. And it's two pilots, right? You got two risers. But the way they piped this years ago, I'm going to show you guys. Oh. Is that <laughs> this is one, one pipe is going up. Great. That's your supply. They have another supply for supposedly for the first zone or for the first floor. It's going here. It's going to a slab of cement. Years ago, people used to do that and not realize that the cement puts stress on the actual pipe and creates corrosion and puts pinholes and holes in the pipe. In this case, we know we're a thousand percent sure there's a hole somewhere underground because they're losing pressure. It's constantly feeding water. I bleed it and within 10, 15 minutes, I lose it. There's air in the system again and the pressure's going down. So the gauge is telling me right away there's a hole somewhere under the slab and the foundation. Hey, we're not going to fix it as far as like ripping out the floors. We're just going to bait it, cut it, abate it. And then we're going to just reroute a new PEX line and eliminate that issue. But the issue here that I have, it's a little confusing, is that, number one, nothing is labeled. So the other thing is, you know, there's a two zone. Now it looks like they have three zones. So I think what they did is somewhere along the second zone or the first floor zone, they put a T in there. I don't know where, but it only makes sense because there's only supposed to be two zones. There's two circular pumps. Why do we have three pipes? We're only supposed to have two supplies and two returns. Hmm. Now we have to figure it out, guys. So no job is too small, too big for us. But these are the type of jobs that you got to use your Coco experience and figure it out because there is no manual. You're going to figure you're gonna figure this shit out in school. So what I think it is, is exactly what I told you guys. But the only way 100% determine that, you have to either use uh, water. We can either use a vacuum. Some people like to chop out. I don't know. Don't ask me. That's, that's not me. Or the other one is we use an air compressor. So that's how we're going to define and know which is supply which is return. Very simply, cut, cut your supply. We're gonna cut the returns. We're gonna put a compressor or water, whatever it is we choose to use. And guess what? Once water or air goes in, it has to go somewhere. It has to return right back. And that's what's gonna tell us which is supply and which is return. So guys, stay tuned because mi gente, that's another day with the HVAC pop. Whippa. Mi gente, it's Louis the Boiler Man, and I am your Boiler Man. Whippa. I'm the boiler man, yep. that's, that's, what what I I am. Am. that's what I am, and I'm here to fail.